Well, I was just thinking about what the future is for lifestyle media. I was thinking about how important it is that we really understand the consumer need and differentiate our brands. I was reflecting on the changes in what advertisers expect and how we modernize our relationship with, with, with our advertisers and help them sell. Well, I think there's a new generation of advertisers that are accustomed to kind of pulling the levers themselves, to going in, buying audience, expecting performance, and working really, really quickly and getting a very solid understanding of their audiences. And I think that we have to respond to, to clients that want to buy media like that. Well, it's everything, isn't it? I mean, you have to figure out what the need is and why you're relevant to the consumer, right? So I think you have to be both different and useful. And useful is about understanding the consumer need and, and, and feeding it. Uh, being different is about voice. So media brands have always been about you know, point of view and voice, and they, you know, they're, they're more so now than ever before. Uh, listen, I think Instagram is a visual, uh, is, a, is an important visual medium for, for you know, image-based advertisers, and I think it's a real competitor to the magazine industry and one that we really have to understand. Uh, I think more and more as lifestyle media, we compete with Instagram. We are different in that we provide more perspective, point of view, advice, uh, and uh, but but you can't deny the fact that you know Instagram's large. It's a visual medium, and it's got a very very significant data set behind it, which, make, which makes it really valuable for marketers. I don't think it's about long form as much as it is about uh, authority. And so I you know I think that that you know we combine text pictures videos in all kinds of ways I wouldn't define it as long form versus short form I I think what we have to do is focus on our authority and our service when I say service I mean our ability to help someone understand the landscape in fashion or whatever and make make thoughtful recommendations integrating product databases to our publishing platform so that uh, our editors can uh, integrate product into our posts really seamlessly where there's real-time pricing and so you think of it as a as a sort of commerce platform and a content platform in one. Uh, building mechanisms into our content so we always get feedback from the consumer and can understand uh, more and more about them. On the ad side, it's about using data of all types uh, more effectively to deliver the right audience and also to, to map uh, the effectiveness of ad spend and optimize. And I think those are the, the three things that we're really focused on. I think that the world is moving direct. I think we have to learn how to support direct sellers. I think the best way we can do that is by selling products ourselves and learning what it takes to actually move a pro to, to, to actually sell a product. Um, and that could be a piece of content, it could be an event, and it could be a branded product, or it could be affiliate commerce. Uh, so I think it's you know, content plays an increasingly important role as the sort of storefront for commerce, and, and our brands will lead the way there.